what is going on everybody man oh man oh man yeah you guessed it it's your host the wolf of crypto here man we got another episode today here on the crypto millionaire journey podcast nft project that obviously i'm invested in and we're gonna be talking about dea dogs here on today's episode and it's just been <laughs> trying to wrap my head around the whole progression of the project and kind of curious to see where we're going to go here in the near future because the project itself and its community has had a uh, bit of a hardship month, I would say here. Um, apparently, it looks like we've been acquired from a DAO a mobster DAO, that is, that came from the realms of the cat cartel. And basically, after kind of, you know, obviously reading the chat a little bit, trying to figure out, you know, what exactly happened, because now uh, that project is no longer part of the, well, I shouldn't say part of the Zion ecosystem. It's not part of it right now, currently. So right now, the Zion emissions have came to a halt uh, yeah, so right now we're kind of stuck in a little bit of a limbo here, but there are some plans um, in place going forward to, you know, keep the project alive because, you know, there was there were some people calling it a rug, which I mean, I guess kind of in a sense, it almost got to that point, but this Dow pretty much kind of came in swooped up the project and now they're going to be taking it in a different direction which is i would say a bit disappointing as far as the og team goes um it looks like some things happened behind the scenes that obviously didn't go too well leading to one of the guys that was really uh kind of the leader at least for the discord um that man, I believe he did a uh, get your money quick and run type of exit because uh, ain't heard from him since. Apparently, like I said, whatever happened behind closed doors didn't end pretty. And yeah, as far as the art goes, to be honest, I thought the art was, you know, cool. I thought it was something to go ahead and you know figure out add it to the collection and plus the bonus really was the zion emission right being able to stake your d8 dog and also too with the d8 pub since that's part of the collection as well and that was the multiplier and that was probably one of the i would say one of the big uh things that people were kind of looking forward to before it had initially dropped and then obviously when it dropped it was like, all right, we're kind of, you know, kind of putting ourselves in that same realm along those guys over at the Cat Cartel. Because, you know, Cat Cartel has pretty much a similar model, right? And their model has changed as well. So it seems like just all in general, uh, Zion, the particular token, has taken, I would say it's taken a bit of a hit considering that. All these projects that, like I said, were involved as far as being able to stake your NFT, get some Zion. Seems like the whole dynamic is changing. And as far as DA dogs, um, as far as where they're going, they do have, you know, somewhat of a new roadmap. Um, this is kind of still, I believe, in the works. Um, I don't think anything's really set in stone, but one thing that is set in stone is <laughs> and i would say the one thing that is set in stone is we ain't getting no zion right now um hopefully if you are part of the project and you were following the discord um if you didn't unstake it you know before like the little timer ran out i believe if i'm not mistaken they did send the rest of those nfts to everybody's wallets um, and then I believe, according to some of their announcements, I believe they're 
working on their own uh, staking website as well. It seems like they kind of wanted to, you know, branch off and kind of create their own name, create their own brand, obviously. And this is the same that goes for other projects like, uh, I believe, Magic Mushies. I believe their Zion emission is ending soon as well. And I'll be talking about that project as well because I figured, you know what? If I was going to be part of the Zion ecosystem, I figured, you know, let me go ahead and diversify, grab a little NFT from each community, kind of see how it goes. But now it's like, woo. Now we're making adjustments. And, you know, that's something also to note is that at least some of these projects that are or were considered in, I guess you could say, like the rug phase or the rug area, um, some have taken it upon themselves to evolve and kind of switch around their whole like tokenomics roadmap, et cetera, et cetera. Um, those particular teams that put in the time to do that, I think those particular projects will do well in the long run because if the team has some foundation, the team is solid and the team is willing to continue to build. Uh, I think that's something I'm starting to kind of notice as something to take note of as you start to kind of, you know, invest into these different NFT projects. Because again, like I said, rugging, scamming, yeah, that's all part of the territory that does happen. I have been a part of it, especially as of recent. It's not fun, but it does happen, like I said, because if the team pretty much what gives up or if they feel like, you know, some got like a good number amount of money to go ahead and say, you know what? We're going to just dead it. Hey, that is the thing. But it's kind of funny as far as um, their kind of like new roadmap slash uh, like little lore. Because, you know, this is all still like part of the story and everything like that. Um, they're basically kind of saying that uh, <laughs> DA, da, or say DA Dogs and their leader, which is Georgie, huh? <laughs> Uh, they all pretty much got capped, man. They got overwhelmed. Um, now, DA dogs are going to still earn some rewards. Um, despite us, you know, getting cut off from Zion. Um, apparently, Solano will be distributed equally between DA dogs and DA puppies. Dogs being paid out a 20% of the royalties from the sales of dogs and puppies. And then puppies will be paid 40% of the royalties from the sale of dogs and puppies as well. Now, as far as when does that actually take effect, um, I believe that is going to start happening soon, meaning like this month. Um, I believe they're supposed to be starting on taking some snapshots of wallets um, to get that distribution going. Because I figure, you know... I wanted to see how that might go because what they were kind of proposing as far as this new collection goes, because the new collection is going to be called Corrupted Dogs. Um, Actually, that's the new kind of the rebrand of the whole project. And got to say, the particular artwork that they have shown off so far, as far as like sneak peeks and all that, I would say it's a definite upgrade from the OG collection um, seems like whoever the artist that they got on board uh, as far as their vision and kind of, you know, what they brought to life. I would say it's very distinctive, distinctive enough to be like, you know what? This could be something to get behind, rock with, because, I mean, otherwise, you know, we would have some NFTs that are pretty much dead or. What I'm starting to do now, since uh, I got myself a, I got myself a, let's see, how what's the easiest way I could break this down? Recently, I bought myself a NFT funeral home. Yeah, it sounds pretty wicked, right? And uh, don't worry, I'll be doing a whole episode on that. Stay tuned for that in the future. But basically, it's a place where I can go ahead and burn some NFTs that are useless, right? Um, you know, all those NFTs that might be rugs and they're just sitting in your wallet. 
well, now you can come to my funeral home if you like uh, and burn that NFT. Uh, you can get yourself some ash, which is like the token of that particular project. And like I said, I'll be doing a full on episode on them. But at first, that's what I was thinking I was going to be doing with this collection because they kind of had proposed that, you know, if you want to be part of the new collection, which is the Corrupted Dogs, uh, you would be basically having to um, burn your current NFT. So like, for example, uh, you're going to have, you know, a couple options, right? You're going to have three options. And like I said, this is all proposed kind of during the early on stages. I believe this has gotten changed, but first option was going to be um, burn one DA puppy. Then you get a free corrupted dog. Uh, other option was going to be, you know, you can burn one of your DA dogs with a 500 Zion fee, which would give you a corrupted dog. And then obviously the public mint um, for anyone to try to get their chance. Now, the public supply, as far as we know, is going to be limited to a thousand one hundred ninety seven. Obviously, that is a huge um deduction of supply compared to the OG collection, which was consisting of 3,333 DA dogs. Um, but obviously that c collection would have changed if we were going to be burning um, some of these dogs. And again, at first, like I said, they were kind of pushing this agenda because they were saying that if you did happen to, you know, go with option one and two, um, you're going to have a higher chance at getting a rare corrupted dog. Um, so obviously that particular thing might change as well, since um, this is being changed as we speak. And I'll be talking about that a little bit later, but apparently so they're going to keep the whole Zion emissions around except now uh, corrupted dogs will be assigned different missions missions will vary in the danger variable durations and rewards would basically kind of uh, commemorate with these different levels of missions so for example corrupted dogs we're going to have six different missions with different rewards um, and these missions would take form of lock staking contracts and obviously you won't be able to withdraw your Zion until the contract expires, which was obviously the original Zion staking emission that we were doing with the D8 dogs. Except now with corrupted dogs, these are the kind of the proposed missions that your dogs could be potentially doing. So you got the new mission, uh, which is a seven day mission. This is gonna yield you one Zion per day. And you have to deposit, check this out, 40 Zion to enter the mission. Um, that is the tax, right? And they're calling it a noob tax. You got the rookie mission. That's the 14-day mission. That will be yielding you about two Zion per day. And you got to deposit 30 Zion to enter the mission. Uh, pro mission, 21-day mission. That's going to yield you four Zion per day. And you have to deposit 25 Zion to enter the mission. Obviously, if you're noticing the trend, the longer mission you take, the less your fee is. Cartel, veteran mission, you got 28 days, yields you five Zion per day, and you gotta deposit 20 Zion into the mission. Um, but you're eligible for a silver briefcase reward. Um, drug Lord mission, you got 56 day mission. That's yielding you about eight Zion per day, and you gotta deposit 10 Zion to enter this mission, making you eligible for a golden briefcase reward. And then the last mission you have, which is the overload, overlord, excuse me, mission, a four day mission. It's going to get you 10 Zion per day. And you don't have to deposit Zion to enter this mission. And you're eligible for a diamond briefcase reward. Um, and then all the staking deposits will be returned at the end of the uh, staking contract minus the 2% fee taken away by the mobsters. So clearly this right here, since this is completely different from the original collection, six missions, 
all these different yieldy uh different lot periods now it's going to be interesting to see how this particular dynamic can play out uh because holders you know they're kind of accustomed to doing this the whole you know seven days you gain your zion every seven days you know we draw like yada 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 now it's a little bit you know i would say it's a little bit more strategic now because now it's like all right obviously they're going to be warding diamond holders because if you do a four day mission you don't got to deposit zion and you can be eligible for the diamond briefcase work which i'm assuming it's going to be something that's going to be obviously like high stakes, maybe like a rare NFT, maybe a extra bag of Zion. It's going to be something along those lines. Right. So as far as the briefcases and this is stuff that briefcases are not supposed to be dropped until about June or July. That's when uh, this particular part of the roadmap we should see potentially in play. So with the silver briefcase, you got a chance to earn a thousand Zion, which is basically like what? Say they're saying it's a 33% chance. Um, you can also have a chance to win 100 Zion, which is a 66.9 chance. Or you can earn a unique corrupted dog NFT, which is a 0.1 chance. Golden briefcase, you got the chance to earn 2,000 Zion, and these numbers look like they're pretty much the same. Uh, 200 Zion as well, and that's a 66% chance. Or you can get a unique corrupted dog NFT at a 1% chance, right? So the diamond briefcase, chance to earn 3,000 Zion, 40% chance. And you can also get 1,500 Zion which is a 50% chance or a unique corrupt dog NFT giving you that 10% chance. So, so again, those of you that plan on, you know, going on those longer missions, well, your chances of earning, like I said, some extra Zion, perhaps a unique NFT. Um, and there are only 10 unique corrupted dogs to earn says after all the unique corrupted dogs have been claimed percentages will be adjusted accordingly um and then obviously while the new recruits are being trained the mobsters will continue to advance in their plan to conquer all the regime so they did propose um a vote as far as you know where to go for the future of this particular project they came up with two options option one you know being don't burn anything uh, you know, you're not going to be able to get no royalties, keep your in original NFT or basically option two was follow our map, which we're going to have the opportunity to burn slash exchange NFT for a corrupted, um, obviously free exchange for puppy owners, dog owners. We're going to, they're going to have to pay 500 Zion to exchange. So hopefully, uh, you stacked up enough Zion or you're still collecting some Zion from different projects as well. Uh, but 500 Zion's not that bad anyways. Um, and of course, uh, option two was the one that obviously was a clear cut winner. Now, as far as when are we going to have the uh, opportunity to be able to go ahead and burn our dogs? I believe that's supposed to be happening sometime this month, uh, hopefully earlier rather than later. But, you know. It's going to be interesting to kind of see where this project goes in the near future. Obviously, uh, this particular DAO is uh, looking to, you know, make some noise. And hopefully, like I said, the team is one of those teams that is great at building, wants to work and, you know, obviously wants to see the project to the end because they had some other plans that was part of the OG roadmap. But obviously, um, with this new roadmap and there's going to be a more even update version of that roadmap coming out pretty soon. Hopefully, uh, I would say maybe in the next you know week or so. Just got to stay on top of the discord and see when they make that announcement. But man, I got to say, uh, being an NFT collector, owner, trader, whatever you want to dab the tile to. It's very interesting, man. Um as far as being able to actually find those good blue chip or good diamond projects, 
It's tough. It is tough because, you know, you want to get there first. But at the same time, I feel like when a project just drops, especially like, you know, right after Mint, because, you know, everybody's all excited about the Mint. They see this roadmap. Things going well. And then, you know, sometimes there's some barriers that get hit. And if the team isn't prepared along with the project, uh, I have seen tokens, you know, just lose value. NFTs lose value very quickly. And like I said, that's it's all part of the game. But this is why this is all NFA. This is why you have to do your own research. And again, this is why you guys should understand that investing is pretty risky business. And you should never invest what you're willing to lose because you will take some L's. I've taken some L's, but the wins, mind you, have more wins than L's. And you can just continue to manage that risk. It'll be all right. But again, um, the NFT space is pretty new to me. And I'm starting to kind of catch on to things. More experience you get, the better you are to look out for red flags. Um, and also, too, probably for me, I would say following a project for a good amount of time is something that you also want to do before you kind of just ape into the project. But kind of excited to see where this whole rebrand goes with uh corrupted dogs now it's not da dogs but it seems like d dogs is uh now what you would call i guess a vintage collection and i figured you know i'm gonna take the opportunity go ahead and put some of those dogs on some merchandise because if you think about it some of these dogs will be getting burned and once they're burned you know they're no longer a part of supply well, in that case, some of the dogs that actually do survive, uh, you would kind of say that their value somewhat goes up, right? Because um, the supply that I mentioned earlier, that was 3,333. I'm assuming that supply will start to uh, go down here pretty soon. Um, but as far as like royalties of any sales of dogs and pups, Again, that's something I want to really kind of keep my eye out on to see if it's even really worth it. Because my whole thing was I was just going to burn them all and try to, you know, get as many corrupted dogs as possible. Because when you think about it, um, they're going to be the only dogs that are able to actually earn you Zion. So uh, I'm in it for the Zion. And the royalties really seem kind of eh. I mean, I'm getting royalties uh, from Heaven Seven's lottery, um, so I'm just like, eh. didn't get it for the royalties. But like I said, maybe I'll keep a few just to see if it's something that's even really worth it. But till they actually announce their next roadmap, like their official roadmap, um, cause I'm curious to see, you know, what they have planned as far as all the way up to the end of the year. But man, interesting things have happened in the crypto space, especially for Zion. Um, that coin has taken the fall and they're not the only ones that have been affected. Cause like I said, other projects are also kind of cutting off their admission. Seems like Cat Cartel is uh, maybe trying to, you know, make it where Zion is just, you know, dedicated to that project and everything below it but time will tell time will tell but that's going to really wrap it up as far as this particular episode goes for DEA dogs which is now called corrupted dogs um yeah i'll be doing a somewhat video on these guys as well uh for those of you that want to get some visuals because again so the corrupted dogs like i said the art the artwork looks looks dope I, like I said, I do rock with the artwork. It's a shame that this project uh, kind of had the first ending that it did. Now we're here in the sequel um, to see 
where this project particularly goes. But again, if you guys want to check me out as far as the podcast goes, I am available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Stitcher, Radio Public, basically anywhere you can tune in and listen to the pod. Also, too, those of you that are maybe looking to tune in to some of my live talks, which is kind of a extension of the Crypto Millionaire Journey podcast. Um, we do some live on the wins on wisdom. Yeah, that's right. Wisdom. So those of you that want to have time to catch in and tap on in when I go live, because I go live every now and then, I would say uh, probably we'll be doing that more so on a uh, two or three week basis, depending on projects, because I would say. Like I said, in the last, man, a couple weeks, projects have been going in all types of different directions. So I'm definitely going to be trying to stay on top of it as much as possible. Um, And also, too, you guys can check me out on my YouTube channel. But as far as the Wolf Crypto goes, thanks for listening to another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. I'm out of here. Until next time, folks, y'all take it easy. Peace.